All right, hey guys, Southie Southwise. It's Friday. Normally we're doing a pickup video on a Friday. Uh, we did send one skid out of here earlier to Michigan, but this week, next week, we're building a bunch of equipment. Then we're going to have a massive send off on the following week. So this video here, a little bit different. We're going to talk about something that's been in the works for over a year. I think we're coming up on year two mark. Um, not heavily working on it. This guy's been working on it for a little while. I've had several guys working on this as a project. And what is it that we're talking about, sir? We have a proportional control valve with a transmitter receiver so that up to 300 meters away you can control your bleach and your soap without having to get down and go do it manually. Back to the truck. Yep. Right. And when you get to 88 miles an hour, uh, something happens. I don't know. <laughs> no, this is my brother-in-law, guys. This is my sister's husband. Uh, they live right over there across the street from us here at the shop. And gotten him to, to start messing with this a few months ago. And so down here, we'll come in here and take a look at the box. Of course, you don't know what you're looking at, but it's a bunch of electrical hardware in here. And basically, we've got a radio transmitter, right? Stop me if I say something wrong. We got an alligator clamp to this battery. Of course, the skid's got batteries, so all this will be tucked away nice and neat. Weatherproof box. We'll probably wind up mounting this inside the box on the skids as well. Uh, so it'll be double weatherproof. Um, weatherproof. So we've got the ability, and this remote's got more buttons than we need, but we can pre press a button. If you'll take a look up here at this valve, right now, here you go, I ain't messed with it really enough to know what button to push. Um, let's change our ratio. It's on the bleach line, and right now we're at, let's say we're spraying 3%, let's change it. All right, now we're gonna take it down to probably about 5% right here. Now, you'll notice that this ain't doing what we want it to do because we don't have it mounted. So the end product here, this valve, this electric valve will have to be mounted so that it doesn't turn and it actually turns the valve. Right now, you can sit here and hold it with your hand and it'll work like it's supposed to. So this is just a prototype. Uh, two things that are gonna have to change on this particular model is uh, this one's only a 90 degree and we need it to be 180. So we'll have to figure that out, which is no big deal. And then it turns really slowly. Um, that's not a big deal either. It takes about 30 seconds for this one to go from this way to this way. We'll try to see if we can find one that turns a little quicker, but that's not really, that's a non-issue. The only other issue with this one is it's, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have a full range. So what we want it to be able to do when we get the final product out, it'll be able to go from off, no bleach, 0%, one, two, three, four, five, six percent full on. And then we'll also have one for the soap line as well, so you can vary your soap. So let's say you're up here washing the roof, right? You get done with that and then you wanna start washing the house. You need to go down in bleach and probably back off on your soap too. Uh, so you press a button, press another button for the soap and both of those turn and stop. So there's a bunch of guys out there that make and sell, even my dad's made one, uh, downstream remote injectors. Those are very simple to do, it's just on and off. Very easy. I think even Tractor Supply sells a remote control for farm equipment and then you just have to rig it up and make it work. This, to my knowledge, does not exist in this industry. So this is a first of its kind, as far as I'm aware, of a variableness, and that's that's really cool. So hats off to Mr. Ryan here. Um, before you guys blow up our email and our phone lines, this is just a prototype, okay? It ain't ready to sell. We're working on it. Hopefully in the next couple of months, we'll have production models put together where you can order a blend manifold manual or you can order an electric version and you'll get the manifold and the electric actuators. We're probably not gonna sell just the actuator kits, I'm thinking, because here's what's gonna happen. Dude ain't gonna know how to hook it up and then we're gonna be getting one billion phone calls. So we'll, we'll sell you the completed thing that we put together that works. We're not gonna let you buy parts and try to figure it out because you're just gonna wind up calling us. Sorry, that's just how it's gonna be. And uh, we, we just don't have the staff to handle that kind of we, we would be opening a big can of worms right there. Yeah. So we'll sell you a manual blue manifold like we always have. We'll sell you an electric version. If you buy equipment and you want to get that, that'll be an option. Not right now. If you're in the queue, don't call. You can't have it. It ain't ready. It's months away. It's as a concept, all right, Dad Gummit. Talked about the real deal hose reel. Same problem. I told him in the video. I was like, hey, it's a prototype. It's not ready yet. The next day, 65 people. Can I have real deals on my rig? They don't exist. It's a prototype. So as soon as we get them going, guys, we'll put a video out and say, hey, this is ready. If you wanna, you know, if you're in the queue at that point, you wanna upgrade to that, or if you got an old system and you wanna try to retrofit it, it should be retrofitable to our old systems. Don't think that that'll be a problem. 
One other thing I want to mention is it will have a manual override, so show them how that works. So if you ever need a manual override, all you got to do is just push it in, and you can turn your valve however, whichever way you need to go. Press and turn. So if something happens with the electronics or the valve fails, now these things are rated for like how many life, how many cycles, like thousands, yeah. 50,000 cycles. At but least 80,000. If something does happen, yeah. you can come over here to the truck and turn it manually just like you used to, and you can keep your handle on the truck. Uh, so very, very cool. A couple of tweaks to make. Couple of months, we'll, we'll keep you guys in the loop. Again, it's a prototype. Same thing with the real deal, guys. We got them on this rig here. Uh, this Alumamax is the first Alumamax to get four real deals put on it. Uh, we've only ever had one other real deal in the house. That was the initial prototype. These are the first 10 from our uh, first production run. We got them this Tuesday, and we put them on all the equipment that we've been building this week. They owe us 90 more, so we had 100 real initial order. They're working on that, so we don't have any available to sell. Uh, again, these kind of wheels take a long time to get turning, but we just want to let you guys know that we're working on this stuff uh, and keep you in the loop. So as soon as it's ready to go, we'll let you know. We'll do a video. Uh, these will be available, you know, hopefully by the end of summer. Is that pretty feeling nice pretty thing. confident? So yep. this is going to be the man for those. And he's my brother-in-law, and he's right across the street. And he's easy to find if he messes up something you drive there. So thank you for uh, working on this project. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll have a bunch of equipment getting built next week and the following week, and then a massive send out of here on the 23rd. So a bunch of you guys are probably going to be here on the 23rd, and we'll see you then. Hope you all have a great weekend. See you.